when I was born came to the understanding that we are all in this together, in the knowing that we are all connected. And that came through my death. Being dead for 10 minutes and then returning. It's like a, a lotus flower gets shoved down in the murky mud and it, it rises back up. My energies are starting to flow and balance and be in harmony with everybody else's and I'm like, this is what I came back for. She was so enthusiastic for life after that. Nicole is an angel, mentor, teacher, guide, sage. She has the infinite wisdom and ability to touch and heal people's lives. Nicole has brought um, a lot of joy to my life. I consider her as an energy healer. What I love is her authenticity. I was completely healed. It was absolutely amazing. I am so happy and I am so blessed that I have met Nicole. The kindest, most passionate, loving person I have ever met. She's a gift from God. It took the gun. I was almost ready to shoot myself. She saved my life. She saved my life. My and good morning. How are you this morning? I'm amazing. How about you? Good. We're doing good. I'm going to get our, our headphones just a little bit. I think something was a little touched a little bit. There we go. You better? Uh -huh. Okay. Sound better? Okay. So, uh, Cindy and Nicole, Remembering Connections, uh, good morning on this uh, sixth day of June 2018 in St. George, Utah. And uh, here we go again. Another week, Nicole. Yes. How yeah. are you? Have you had a good week so far? You know what? It's been an amazing week. We've quite the ups and ups and um, downs. There's so many shifts going on right yeah, now. Yeah, and I, are. I trust it's with everybody. I hope. Yeah. I, no, I, <laughs> no, I really think there is because I, because like all my friends too, are the kind of the same space. There's just, and, and I think it's things that um, like, it almost feels like everything's breaking down in a way, you know, wh whether it's, uh, you know, your physical th things or, or relationships or work or whatever. It just seems like every and everyone's in the same space. Like there may be in different parts of their lives, but something's like all of a sudden not working very well. Yeah. Um, when you said that, that saying everything falls apart to fall back together came yeah. to me. And then yeah. it reminded me of some of my, some of my, um, teachings that I have, or my experiences that I've shared that, um, when you're, um, like to find the balance and the harmony in chaotic moments yes. is when you grow the most. Oh, and so, right. um, as I'm sitting here, I'm like, um, and you said that it just, that just hit me very, yeah. very deep that these, these emotions and these wide ranges of, um, um, people that are there, the marriages are falling apart. Mm -hmm. Um, people are, um, um, you know, losing their jobs or mm -hmm. cars are breaking down yeah. and, and, and it's just very interesting yep. that it's, that it's a collective of people, a collective of not just a couple, you know, I'm, I'm getting, getting, um, um, getting clients and situations over and over. So, um, it's, it's, um, uh, maybe time to master the shift, master, master what's going on in your own self mm -hmm. to make a ripple effect for others because everybody is going through some kind of and it's, something. It's not little. Yeah. It's whatever mm -hmm. the something is that everybody's going through. It's big. Mm -hmm. I mean, or at least it feels big to them. And it's, it's crazy when you talk about vehicles. I mean, we have, um, three different vehicles that have had like um, two or three times each vehicle in the last four or five months, which it's not cheap to, yeah. to fix them, right? And that's just the vehicles, not, not to mention stuff in the house. And I mean, it's just, it really is crazy. And it's like, you talk to, I talk to my friends, they're the same thing. Oh my gosh, our van's in the shop right now or yeah. whatever. And, and, and I read somewhere that, you know, some spiritual person said that your, your vehicle has a lot to do with who you are. And if your vehicle breaks down, if there's something breaking down in you, I don't know if you believe that or not, but I'm thinking, okay, what's breaking down? Cause I'm over it. Yeah. Right. That's how you get to a point where like, I'm done. And maybe sometimes, um, you talk about all the time uh, that the that our emotions that's what what makes humans so amazing to you are the emotions and the passion. But sometimes it takes us to get that mad to change things, right? And I guess turn, turning into the anger into compassion is mm -hmm. is a is a big to do that we can work on now. Um, but as we are speaking, I always I always have some kind of 
information that comes in. And, right. and I just was brought to Mother Earth and the electrical magnetic field that she's in right now. Oh. And that's very interesting that people's bodies are, um, are um, having aches and pains. A lot of people that have never had um, anything... Um, illnesses or anything in their past are all instead of feeling achy bones. Mm-hmm. It's very interesting to me that the cars are breaking down too. Yeah. I mean, the Mother Earth um, that we, I don't think the human has looked at as an influencer. Right. Because um, it's always it's just, just been it, there. Yeah. It's just yeah. taken for, you know, that's, that's what we do. We mm-hmm. walk on, we walk on her. She gives us food. And, mm-hmm. but now that her electrical magnetic, field which um beats the same beat as our heartbeat does yeah is being affected and it's now it's showing up in many forms many forms and you know i was just reading this morning you know there has been the volcano in guatemala on monday so scary and the volcano that's been in hawaii for a few weeks now that just in hawaii they've had 9900 earthquakes in just uh just a month or less than a month that's what's going on I mean, when you're feeling, I mean, how can we not, we, we all live on the same planet. How can you not be feeling all that stuff? Because clearly Mother Earth is saying, all right, I'm over this too. <laughs> yeah. I'm over it, right? So if, mm-hmm. if the magnetic force is, is, we're like you said, we're walking on her. It would make sense that that's happening. Yeah. Um, as, as I was working on heart chakra releases with um, some clients, um, I was thinking of that exact situation because I was watching them release <clears throat> certain emotional t- attachments or mm. a certain emotional pain and as as their heart chakra was was contracting and releasing I was watching certain parts of the body um, that it was attached to so say something traumatic happened to somebody and they held their breath and it hurt their little heart and then they held it like in their lower stomach which was really interesting to me that that mother earth I'm like wow like, where is she holding her emotions? Where is she holding? That's a good People point. don't think she has any, but she does. Yeah. And so, so I'm like, wow, she's, she's, it's time for her to shift too. And, um, and it was, yeah, that it was like such a clear vision for me to, to, um, kind of collectively connect each, each wow. person and each dot. And it's, it is very emotional. Um, that just brings me to kind of a, this, I, I heard something the other day, and I've heard it several times that that um, I don't have emotion, and that um, that I don't have, I don't feel like others. And I've I've heard this over and over again, which is really interesting to me because that's not true. I don't think it's true either. I was going to say, who's telling you that? Because that's not true. Yeah, yeah, I I feel everything. Yeah. And just because I'm looking at you with a compassionate eyes and a joyful heart doesn't mean I don't feel what you're feeling and more because yeah. I feel not only you, but everybody else in the situation. So it's so, amplified for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I can only imagine that she loves the human, Mother Earth loves the human as much as I do and, right. and, and feels that too. And, and so it's, it's just an interesting, um, when, you, when you allow yourself to let go of your learned beliefs and really embrace who we are and where we came from. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the connecting stuff. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. You're listening to Radio St. George, by the way, 100.3. Um, we want to thank Sean Donovan, who is the um, the guru here at the college, at the Broadcasting Center. And uh, he's uh, the head professor here. And we want to thank him for allowing us to be here. We're going to take some phone calls in just a little bit. But I, I'm guessing you've got some great information to share with us right now. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, start with it. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm gathering myself. It's okay. Um, a meditation this morning. Yeah, let's okay. go ahead and do that. Let's do that. No, that'll that'll balance. It will balance everybody, including if you're listening to this later and not just this moment. It'll balance everybody. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, um, healing and love, no no distance or time. And and when you're ready, you will receive it. So you can take this information, either allow and receive, or shelf it, or just or just put it away for um, someone else. <laughs> But we're going to start with um, deep belly breaths. This is very important. I found out with some um, distance sessions that I did um, yesterday is that um, through seven breaths, it seems to connect at a miracle um, um, energy for me. And that that way, that person, um, I, I... 
tested it or did it two two um, healings in a row just to see how that responded. And so I, I'm going to encourage you just to breathe through your nose and out your mouth and do the seven times. So you're going to just breathe the breath in and receive and then out. Two. Three, four, five. Big in and big out. Six. Huge breath in and out. Let all of that stuff that doesn't serve you out that seventh breath is just awakening and opening you up to consciousness or a higher level of consciousness and as we invite and allow the white light that we all came from and we mirror this divinity that we all are we're going to to invite and imagine that this light is moving down through the cosmos moving down through our top of our head Moving down through the core center of our body and down into Mother Earth where we're going to send our love and our gratitude. And in return, she's going to send you up this beautiful heartbeat. This electrical magnetic pulse is you. It is part of you. It is it is gravity. This is how we are here. And as as we influence her, she influences us. So what we send her right now, this love, this love from connection from above, send that to below. And then call it back up. We're so used to sending our stuff to her that we don't want. Right now, Take that energy that you are, bring down that white light, create that emotional love that we have, that we are these magnificent beings with an influx of, of information and this, of this emotion and take it and send it down to her and, and let her know that she's loved and she's on purpose. I teach you, I teach, share and heal purpose every day. Now you do it. Do it for her. Do it for the Mother Earth. Do it for, and every time you step on Mother Earth, remember that you're doing your part to be on purpose and to share your purpose and, and remind other people of their purpose and then bring that back up through your very feet and every muscle, every cell, every bone of your body to your, and ground that hip to hip up through every part of your body, your core and move it up into, into your heart. And there you will find that that connection, the connection that you are. This connection that bridges all of us. Right there through that heart, that beat. There's a pulse happening right now. And the, those of you that are allowing and receiving, share. Share it. We are in this together. And as you as you start to share and really, really envision and really embrace, embrace it. Embrace every 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 breath that we are able to share. It's it's never guaranteed. <clears throat> and as this is happening, you're gonna feel this this wave of light. And as it moves around you, whatever circle circular circular form that that feels right there is no no direct movement right now because this is your healing you're taking responsibility for it you take that energy and you move it through your body what best serves you you are on purpose you are not broken you are whole you are loved and you are on purpose and and know that take responsibility for your next breath take responsibility for how you influence with your energy and as this all moves through you and you give much gratitude 
you're going to just feel a sense of unity, of compassion, of oneness. And then clear all that energy yourself. Watch it evaporate. Do something amazing with it. Shift it. Energy cannot be destroyed, but it can be modified. Modify your own energy to something amazing. Don't send it to Mother Earth asking her to do it anymore. Don't send it to other people. Don't ask, you know, it's time to stand up for yourself and, and, and take responsibility for how you affect other people. And then with a compassionate heart, share how to do that with others. Mm-hmm. And so it is. Love that. We're all, we're all in it together and we're all doing the best we can. Exactly. On whatever level that means for you at the moment. Because mm-hmm. it can change in a, heart, in a heartbeat how different levels that you're on or whatever's going on with you. Yeah, no, I love that. Thank you, Nicole. That was awesome. So, so it was a really, <clears throat> let me shift gears. So it was a really um, um, intense meditation. Yeah, it was intense. But what it gets You were emotional. Do, the people who don't think you're emotional, that was emotional. <laughs> it's because it's time to take your power back yeah. in, every, in every form. And... and it's not that that this meditation means that I won't help you or that you can't ask for help right. or that it immediately is going to come to you. But if you have a map of intent saying, this is where I want to be, mm-hmm. then eventually you're going to get there. So so this, this, this intense meditation is like, oh, no, but I can't do that. I don't know how. And, and, and now she's never going to help me. And I don't know if I dare ask for help. That's not what that that's not what was just guided. Mm-hmm. What is guided is if you stand in this power every day, you're going to eventually be that power. Yes. You're going to eventually take take your power back and and love so much that your influence of love hits every heart. When you walk in a room. People are just going to melt with compassion, mm-hmm. and that should be everyone's want. Yeah, right. Like the pebble in the in the pond, right? Just yes. ripple, ripple effect, ripple effect. Um, we're going to be taking some phone calls in a little bit, so let me just give you the number, but not this second because we have one more thing that we wanted to talk about. Uh, 879-4100, area code 435-879-4100, the number to call if you would like to call and talk to Nicole today. Um, we were talking, we, we, we got a chance to go to the JCK jewelry show in Las Vegas on Sunday and, um, see all the Levian festivities, which was really, really fun. And you taught me something there. Um, and we want to talk about that because I think that I'm not the only one that does this and it was so helpful and it was like so eye opening for me. And, uh, I, it's, it's changed the way I look at, uh, how I am when I'm in a place or with people that I don't feel comfortable, or I feel like the energy is not good, but I have to be there for a moment. Um, how to handle that? Because the majority of the time, when I have done this in my whole life, I hold my breath. I try and hide, you know, energetically. I try to hide. I just don't want to be like a, do the wallflower thing and um, tell everybody about what you taught me because it was it's amazing. Well, there was quite a bit of energy there, and so as a lot I of people. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people, impl- and being in Vegas, it intensifies the the um, the energy or the frequency. There's such a diversity. Yeah, and you are very very sensitive. Yeah, um, and as I was walking, I noticed that Cindy would hold her her breath and put her <laughs> shoulders in, and um, and so we got the opportunity to to um. It was a teaching sh- moment, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a schooling moment. So I got to share what, what I learned because I used to be the same way. I used to be very fearful. Yeah. Not that I don't have my days still, but I used to be very fearful and I would, and, and, um, and I would do the same thing until I got stomach aches and I just yes. didn't want to go in front of people anymore. Yeah. And I learned that, um, by, um, pulling in my power and extending out and power is energy. Mm-hmm. A lot of, a lot of people, um, have challenged me on that word, but how, you're a powerful being. Yeah. You're a powerful being. And, it's an energy. It's a frequency. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so when you when you breathe in and you extend your chest, um, and you let your shine or your your divinity, your frequency, your protection, and you take responsibility for that, you just put a 
this beautiful bubble around you. And it doesn't mean that you're getting your energy on anybody. What it means is you're enforcing an energy field around you so that people just bounce off of you. And that way you're able to just move through and um, as an empath, which many are and a lot and many that come to me and listen to this are are also that's why they're feeling it and they don't know what that they are they don't know what that means mm-hmm. yeah you know and and they, that's taking on other people's stuff as your own is one of your big and wanting to fix it and, totally it and so yep but when you're going through a crowd of of thou- a thousand you're you don't know that the you're right getting and left hits. you're hitting everywhere. You're, like, <laughs> you're getting hit by it. Yeah, and there's no way of fixing anybody at that point, not even yourself because you're overwhelmed. So right. by breathing in that energy of yours mm-hmm. and taking and being responsible for your energy. See, so being responsible for your energy in amazing ways. Yes. Like, wow, I'm gonna move this around yes. my energy field and and just allow people to feel the love. And as you could see, it made a huge difference not huh. only for you, but for for when people would move around you, did you notice that people would um, either move towards you or away? Yeah. And sometimes they didn't even know. I noticed some people walking up to us a couple yeah. times and they just kind of, yeah, <laughs> they had no idea what like, was happening. I don't happening. know what's going on. <laughs> well, it was just the, the, the thing, the first thing, I mean, just like you did it in the meditation where it's, you know, putting your energy out like that, but just breathing for me. Just yeah. breathing, just remembering mm-hmm. to breathe in that moment instead of holding your breath. Like it's kind of like I don't know what that is, but it's like you know if you went and hid in a corner and you didn't want anybody to hear you, you would hold your breath because mm-hmm. you don't want to hear. It. So it's really like a it's like a a human thing when you're trying to hide. So that's a physical thing that it's like oh my gosh, I cannot believe how much I hold my breath a lot. And energy. So when you do that too, your your breath is universal life force. Your breath yeah. is that is that um um the energy that is going to keep you bright and keep you protected and yeah. keep your energy, f- your, your, um, flowing, it flowing. flowing, right? Each of your discs or your, the energy wheels in your body, your chakras have, have to, um, have breath to be able to, sh- to move. Otherwise you die. Yeah. And so, and the, that works with electrical magnetic field as well. Yes. So as this is working down your body and you're holding your breath, parts of your, um, <laughs> Parts of your energy um, centers are are slowing or shutting down, yeah. causing other people's energies then to influence you. Yeah. So, but when you breathe in, it's not an arrogant or a or a snotty thing. When 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 I share with you, be your power and yeah. breathe in, and, and it protects you. It has yes. nothing to do with your personality or or anything like that. It has to do with with standing in your space and not feeling like you're constricted or there's a oh. weight on you because. I know that a lot of my clients come to me for that reason yeah. is social anxiety. They don't dare um, be out in public because they're afraid of that compressed feeling. Yeah. And instead of breathing out and walking through, they so they hold their breath and it, and it, and it causes just more compression. Yeah. So that's a, that, huge for me. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to have to still work on it because I've been doing it the other way for a very long time. You know, I, I still do it. Do you really mm-hmm. once in a great while? And then you have to remind yourself to, to breathe. I think for, for whatever, you know, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be working on this, but it, it's now keeping me conscious of it. Mm-hmm. Once you're aware and conscious of something, then you can actually really shift it to make it yours. You know, so that's for, for me, it's just just seriously starting with the breath. Just starting to remember to breathe and then go, oh, yeah, I've got my power and I can do this. And if I'm feeling like I'm claustrophobic because the people around me, I'm like, you just do that and go, no, I've got this. And then they can move away if they want to <laughs> or they don't have to. But it, but it won't bother me with the other people then. And, I, and, and it was huge. So thank you very much because it's really big. And I was talking to you last night and saying, I really we wanna, need to talk about that because I, I don't think I'm the only one that does that, you know, mm-hmm. that, that tries to hide when we're feeling like that. And there's a lot of people who have depression and social anxiety just about being around other people and it's because you can feel what they're thinking what they're feeling and that is called an empath okay when you feel it like that and then the more you know yourself sometimes the bigger it gets where you can feel everybody i mean not to the degree you can since you left and came back but it's amplified it is it's clearly amplified and then that, then you can tell the difference between what is your emotions what is the other people around you's emotions and you can stand in your own self because you're right. When you become vulnerable, you do allow other people's stuff to be in you, around you, and on you, and all that stuff. Okay, we have somebody out there. Mm-hmm. I know you don't trust to call in, or you don't. There's some reason you're not. So we're gonna go ahead and clear your chest because mine's killing me. Okay. 
Somebody has chest pains. Yes. Okay. And it's, it's like a really... It's emotional? Mm, let's see. It's a combination. When you have emotional, it usually will trigger other things. Yeah. And so even if it's proactive, we're going to go ahead and do this. So the white light is slowing down your head in this, in this magnificent um, abundance of love and compassion. And as this, is, as this light is moving down... Um, through the top of your head, you're just going to focus moving it into your chest. Simultaneously, you get to feel electric blue light go down your spine and and move all the way down into Mother Earth, where we've created like a red phoenix ball because we love Mother Earth and we're going to go ahead and, and send anything that is man-made or anything that doesn't serve you or... or um, Anything that's not yours into this red, this red orb or ball or fire or whatever, play with it. It's 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 your energy. And then we're going to call back up what is yours, and it's mod. It's now it's modified to positivity. It's modified to your new beginnings. I can feel that moving out the chest. Do you feel that? Yeah, yeah. Because I can. I know exactly what you're talking about. The point too. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. Tight, really tight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as that's constricting, you take a deep breath into your chest. And release it. There we go. So if you do, um, you always can email us um, or or Facebook us on uh, Remembering Connections with Cindy and Nicole on Facebook and share um, private happened? message. Or, yeah, just right. so we, we, we love to check in and we love to hear from you. So, so. We are on Radio St. George on Facebook, but you can always check us out on Remembering Connections with Cindy and Nicole. And you can always get to Nicole with energyhealingbydesign.com if you would like to have a a private healing with her. Um, I would highly suggest it because she's amazing. If you would like to call this morning and um, see if you can talk to Nicole and, uh, you know, maybe you have a story to share. Maybe you would like a healing please do. The number is 879-4100. That's 879-4100, area code 435. I invite you to call in and, um, you know, maybe if you have questions about, yeah, I'm feeling everybody's stuff too. <laughs> like what's going on? Uh, just like we did in the meditation earlier and you're in, and Nicole, you're talking about how we're all kind of the same heartbeat and, and we're a community cause we are, we're all the, you know, humans that are walking this beautiful earth. And, um, so, Chances are, you know, it, we're all going to feel the same thing at the same time, especially the ones that are really sensitive. And yes. that's what we we're trying to explain, the breathing thing. But it does make a difference. Yes. So as we're as we're I'm really excited about yeah. about I, I feel like we're just we're we're in this energy of um, kind of. Is it would the word be stagnant or, or plateauing or something? Yeah, like remember like, I'm learning words. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like you're on the edge of a cliff, and we all need to jump, but we have to trust. And then you know something something flies up, kind of like uh, what was the Avatar where the where the dragons or whatever fly up and catch you, kind of like that. That's kind of what we need to what we need to do. We need to have faith in that. I think. Yeah. So my 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 plateauing um, idea or, or thought that just came to my head was um, since I have to be an adult because <laughs> it's not fun, but some of the times we have fun. to do this adulthood. I know. <laughs> Darn it. But as a, as as an adult, um, and I'm working with children. Mm-hmm. Okay, this just came to me now. So it's just totally my perception, and it's up. It, remember, my I have this this wide open lens from from my me crossing over. Um, what if that we are supposed to, as do- adults, mm-hmm. take this time to pause, to recognize our children mm-hmm. because of this? Mm-hmm. I've been working with so many children lately that have amazing gifts that don't want to be here. They're early um, depression. They yeah. are um, wetting their pants. They are um, the new ones that just don't even want to, to be delivered. Yeah. What if this, what if we have the op- this opportunity to pause, reflect, and really shift us, shift our awareness, shift, shift what is working and what is not working, and shift that what's not working to working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And not repeat and, and, and show up for the children. Yeah. What does that look like? 
That looks great. Because people ha- keep asking me about that. They keep saying saying that their lives are up and down and here and there and everything. But also they say that it's paused. I feel like I'm stuck in time. Yeah. Maybe you're supposed to be. Yeah. Because 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 we're so worried about what isn't working that we aren't looking at the miracle of our children mm-hmm. that they were born to us to be that miracle we pray for. Yes. Now, what can we do differently that hasn't worked in the past to bring these kids to their greatness and not right. their fear that we have carried all this time? How can we do that together? Yeah. Shift it completely. Change everything. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, whenever you are like at the stoplight or whatever, whenever you're forced to stop or pause, you have to look around. Mm-hmm. And that's what you're talking about. Just like, okay, maybe we're all stopping. I mean, what, seriously, what's going to stop you more than your vehicle being broken down? <laughs> I know, exactly. <laughs> right? <laughs> I guess I have to walk. I guess I'll have to look around. You know, or so, I mean, that, that's seriously, that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you really are, seriously, okay, if you're not going to look around, well, here's, here's your broken vehicle then, so you have to look around. So it really does, when you think about it on that level, it totally makes sense. Mm-hmm. But you're right, the children, um, wow, they're amazing. They are, and they are coming with, um, they are being born with gifts that, that um, are unrecognizable to most adults because mm-hmm. you've moved away from them. Not because you don't have them or you, or you didn't have them. It's because that we've moved so far away from them as life has happened and probably mm-hmm. as it should to evolve or humanity, whatever, whatever that looks like to you. However, these kids now that are coming need to be embraced yeah with creativity mm-hmm. and um creative expression not just screens in front of them yeah and most of them don't even like they don't learn by sitting in front of a um and r- sitting they sitting in and writing or sitting they're they're just not sitting yeah they're in a constant movement so yes. it's like instead of forcing these children to to be conformed, how do we creatively help them to to um, be their um, gifts, be their abilities, be who they came to be? Yeah, yeah. Now that's a really that's a really good point because I think that that people who have uh, multiple children they can say, okay, these are the same two parents. We've got four kids, and they're all very very different mm-hmm. because everybody is right. You, you've talked before, um, and you and I would love for you to just mention that again about each each of us. As collective we, as we are, we do have our own individual ray, mm-hmm. right? So we shine a little bit different, but together. Yeah. When you get outside of this veil, there's a um, there's there's so many lights, so many different. Um, um, like we, you have to remember, we see through a small lens. Yeah. The uh, most people, mine did get wide open, but because. I died to, I literally died to do this work. Yes. I died to live, to show you how. Yeah, how to live. And it's very important that people, they, people really feel that there's these sovereign beings and they are here to make a difference and, and to show up in life, that, yeah. that they really are. Mm-hmm. So, and I see these little, these little people, um, these little children, these little humans, <laughs> they're so full of joy and want to bring that light, um, to the earth and, and to their parents and to people. And, and, um, you know what, my little grandbaby that's two that lives with me. Wow. <laughs> kid honestly does not slow down. Yeah. He's like constant he is, motion he's, 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 or he's uh, asleep. He is, he's either asleep or in constant motion. He, He's not really sleeping. And, oh, yeah. and so I keep getting these. He, he'll sleep at night, but he's not taking naps. And and so I've been observing the children that have come to me and the, and him. And I'm like, you know what? It's just who they are. Yeah. And then it reminds me of like our origin of the sun and the moon. Yeah. Does it sleep? No. Yeah, right. And it's always in co- they're emotion. always in cooperation for us to live, for us yeah. to have life. Yeah. What if we thought of our children like that? Yeah. They're, we get we have so much to learn from them, and and I think there's something about um, playing and laughing and being innocent again. You know, I mean, there's nothing like I mean, I can remember being little. There's nothing for me. I love looking for four leaf clovers. Yes. I'm an adult, and I love doing that. And I love laying on the grass, looking at clouds when we have the fluffy clouds, and seeing what you see in clouds. Like, why wouldn't you take 10 or 15 minutes to do that? Every once in a while, I will force myself to, to go do something like that because it's like I'm too much in this world and it's making me crazy. Like, I'm not breathing. Mm-hmm. And so I will go do that. And then I'm like, 
I'm like, all better now. You're just 10 or 15 minutes. It's amazing what that can do. It is. And, yeah. and from experience, and you probably went through your phases like this, is when I moved to St. George, I didn't know anybody, and I was going through my own transitioning from oh, yeah. from see, working 24 hours and, and showing up for people every single day because I thought since I had the gifts, I had to give them away for free, and yeah. I was exhausted. Yeah. And so I came and took a break. But once I took that break, I don't know, and, and, and I encourage, again, perception because I love I love your lens. Let's let's share. Um, but – I, I stayed in the house for, I don't, I don't know the timeline, but I, I had a hard time going back out, even into my backyard. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't, and it's, and it's reminds me. You like wanted to hide in your closet yeah. or something. I have had those moments. So I know exactly what you're talking about. And it's, and it's like, I'm afraid of the sun. Oh, is that yeah. like, and I have no yeah. idea why because yeah. yesterday I was out with the baby and I'm like how how what a beautiful area we live yeah. in yeah and I, how did that happen that I was like oh I don't want to go outside oh I don't want to go outside yeah you know, I, and I'm sure everybody does it and, it's and, weird and yeah I, I don't have the answer but I I what I what I did for myself is I is I had to get up and go out there even if it's only like ten minutes like you said fifteen minutes mm-hmm. go force yourself even I was so scared because I was afraid of falling and things um, and some sometimes when I check out yeah when, for other people and I'll, I'll go do healing sometimes I have to come back and remember how to brush my teeth yeah no I bet that's true because you're not in the same energy yeah I get it and so sometimes um, when I when I go and I work with somebody and I'll and I'll and I'll kind of come back into my own space. I remember when I was falling, when I was first walking, and so it, there's like this this um, um, pause I have to do to kind of relearn, remember to be here. Yeah. And I was, <laughs> I noticed right. how I noticed this is is I was on the I was at the gym, and I go in the dark room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm and I'm doing the um, the one with the arms and the feet. I don't remember what it's called. Yeah. The electroglide. Oh, Electri- uh, uh, elect, uh, elect, no, I can't say it. Electable. I, I can't even say it. I can't even you know, think of it because you said that. Okay. I'll think of it. I yeah. know it. Is, and everyone listening knows exactly they know, what I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking yeah. about. So I was doing this and I'm I'm like, I want to go walk on the treadmill. And I'm like, I don't dare. I don't know how to use it. And I literally did Couldn't not remember. dare because I wow. was afraid. And guess what? No one was even in there anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like sitting yeah. there going, why do I not dare go get on that treadmill? And it took me just pushing myself that simple thing yeah. in the dark room. Mm-hmm. Nobody's watching. Nobody's in there. And I didn't dare move from the, the Lipta Glide that yeah. I knew how to, write, uh, to to operate to the um, treadmill. treadmill where I needed to slow down a little bit. And I, I actually paused for a minute until I just had to like walk carefully. And then in my head, I'm telling, oh, you're going to fall. All of a sudden, wow. these fears, and I know people do that yeah. every day. Every day. Every day. And so it's it's just telling yourself, you can do it. You can yeah. do it. Well, and there's something about if, if you're really that afraid of whatever it is, and you say, okay, I'm going to do a little bit of it or force yourself. And you really do have to force yourself sometimes. You really mm-hmm. do. You have to talk to yourself and force yourself to do it. The, the, um, the feeling of power and empowerment you get, like it. Why was I so worried about this? Why was I so afraid? Like, wow, I'm way bigger than what I thought this was. And I think, mm-hmm. I think, I bet, I bet that's 100% of the time, whatever it is that you think you're afraid of or whatever, when you're physically doing it, when you make yourself do it and say, no, I'm showing up, I'm going to do this, you will figure out that you have always been bigger than whatever that was. And mm-hmm. you should, and I think that's with everything. It is just totally being in the physical world. Because it can be so confusing. You're going along and you're thinking it's fine. And you and, and you literally, how many times are you? For me, it's always when I'm driving in my car by myself. I, you, your mind can really wander and you can really, because nobody's bugging you usually. And you can't really, you're not supposed to use your phone. So I don't use my phone. And and I will, I will listen to the radio, listen to some music sometimes. Sometimes I won't. I'll just sit with my thoughts. And you, you think, does anybody else think this way? Or does anybody else feel, I mean, I really think we all have these moments where we feel we're the only ones that have felt like this. We're the only ones. It's like, no, we're not. Mm-hmm. We're not. That, and you're feeling it because you're human. Like everybody else, you might be in a different stage than somebody else. Maybe they haven't had that feeling yet, or they've had that feeling 10 years ago. But, you, but we all have it, I think. 
That would be, um, so this just came to me, that um, bridging our last show of of um, reaching out to people and um, women coming together, men coming together. We're both equally important. However, a woman knows how to support a woman. A man knows how to support a man. So right. that's, that's I, I feel like I'm a woman, so I want to support women. Right. And um, as that happens, it, as we collectively start um, sharing, sharing, yeah. yeah, and, and, um, I know I've had some people that that have reached out and said, "Well, you're too busy and, and things like that." But you know, sometimes we are. We I get busy, you get busy, everyone gets yeah. busy. But you know that it would be that that little um, like text or something that makes somebody that makes somebody feel good and actually um, trust, change the whole day. Yeah, trust yourself to reach out and just ask. And then for us that that. Um, are sensitive and feel. If you think of somebody, shoot them a. I love to do little smiley faces or these emoto mm-hmm. those, Emo- emojis. Yes, <laughs> I because that brings people joy and it always has a different expression to me. Like I will always do a cute little pattern for somebody, and I found that that really shifts people's um, heart space because yeah. they feel important and they actually can feel the energy through this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and valued. We all want to feel valued and. What kind of what we were doing at the beginning of the show today really is about valuing yourself mm-hmm. and your own empower and your own empowerment. And that I, I really, I mean, I, I have had to learn this and I still have to, you know, relearn it is the things that we were just talking about, anything that you fear. And if you force yourself to even do part of that, how empowered you become and you realize that it was just in your head that you made that fear, that it had nothing, you had nothing to fear you could do this. Um, if it, if you're facing it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. I really believe that. I think that we are here to learn lessons and that sometimes lessons can be scary, especially because if it, it, we wouldn't be here to learn them if we had done them already. So (laughs) it would, it's something you don't know. So what's the first thing a human does when you don't know, I'm scared. I don't know what to do. And that's, that's so normal for all of us to do that. But once you start doing it and breathe through it, it, you go, my gosh, this is not the deal that I thought it was. Don't you think there's something like that? I think the fear to shut down is is what again that just hit me like ton um, how you did in Vegas. Yeah, I feel no, like, I was shut down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I feel was. like people do. I got some information three weeks ago that that I could have um, actually absorbed it, and I actually did. I think for a day. Yeah. I. I, I um. Um. So. Ooh, sorry. It's okay. And I could have went back in that place, but I did want, I, I, I remember very well, I wanted to, I, I wanted to just shut the door. I wanted to shut the light off and say, how can you I'm give, staying in my house forever. <laughs> yeah. And how, how can you, how, how can this happen to me? You know? Yeah. But, um, it did. And I got over it. Mm-hmm. I got, I got over it. So. Then you got over it fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and it really is a choice. And I think that, you know, we always jump between, as a human, the emotions and our physical mind, because it really talks a lot. Um, and first, if you can try and get them in sync, it's awesome. Mm-hmm. So it's very interesting. Um, so um, in the last three weeks, the roller coaster of events that have, that have happened and has brought us to... Um, I think the phones aren't working. I think that's probably <laughs> what it is. Hi, Sean. Sorry. Is that why? Is there a reason there? There. We're good. Thank <laughs> you. Like, wait, I know people are calling. Uh, 879-4100 is the number to call. We've got about 15 minutes left if you want to call us. 879-4100, area code 435. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Nicole. No, what? no, we're good. Okay. What were you saying? So the roller coaster of events um, when, when I'm – seeing the shifting gears and um, wanting to hide is I got um, diagnosed with cancer last in three weeks ago, Yeah, which really, and people are wondering, I can film them because yeah. I'm talking around the big, but three weeks ago it hit me and I never thought I'd hear those words about myself. And I did want to say, what if, who am I? All these things came to my head and, and I had a meeting that night, a gathering that I had to pull it all together and be there for, you know, my clients. The same night you heard, the same night you found out. Say, yeah, an hour, about two hours after I found out. Oh man. 
And I, as I was sitting there and I, I, I was able to realize that I was bigger than that. Yeah. And as I started to do a natural path, you know, my, my natural way of doing things, mm-hmm. um, I realized I am strong and, and I can get, I can get over anything, but that moment, there's this moment of, of shutting down this moment of, of, um, not trusting who's watching over mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. and, um, questioning how can I be who people say I am if I I heal I I assist people with 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 cancer yeah how can I get it Mm -hmm. so but what it did is it made me slow down it made me slow down and realize um the importance of every breath Mm -hmm. and what it did for me is show me in people's reflection who's going to show up who showed up and and so after after I really went through a process of of my own my own journey, it's gone. Mm-hmm. It's it's gone. It, the the cancer is gone, Which, and I had a I had a um. It was more of the journey getting it gone than anything. But again, that moment. I was just going to say. So you found out that even you could have that moment, mm-hmm. and that's and that is because even though you have more consciousness because of, of what happened because you passed away and came back you still have the body mm-hmm. we're still in this physical world we're still in this together the community like you were talking about and so even you can have that moment so wow right i mean that's 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 mind that's mind-boggling and it's it's wide open then i mean if if you and so for you to look at the others and you think wow i know exactly what you're what, what mm-hmm. this is like yes interesting very interesting. By the way, we just we just got word that the phone is not working right now. That is why we're like, wait, where are the phone calls? We knew we we're going to get phone calls, and we're so sorry. Uh, hopefully, next week it'll be working. If you do want to uh, touch base with Nicole and and get a healing, um, again, would really consider that energyhealingbydesign.com. dot com. You can also no go and find uh, find us out on uh, Facebook at Remembering Connections with Cindy and Nicole. We also want to really. Um um, embrace or, or sorry, introduce our array healing or sorry, array hope foundation, which is, it's the foundation that is assisting kids and families, um, and, uh, and adults, but we're really focusing on the children because that's who's coming to us right now. Yeah. And we have, um, the Noreen Jessup's kids, um, the, that are suffering from the pecan. Mm-hmm. We also have other ones that are coming to us that it's, they're suffering from brain dis- um, degeneration diseases and things like this. So the energy is actually helping. It's, it's assisting them in a quality of life. And it's also reversing some of these, some of these, um, these, um, illnesses. Mm-hmm. So, um, we, that is going to be our focus for the next little while. Well, it's, it's going to turn into our focus and, mm-hmm. and through Araya Hope Foundation, we are going to be funding stuff like this. Yes, um, to be able to be on air and um, assist people every every Wednesday and do the and healings. Uh huh. I think eventually we're going to extend the show. Right. It looks like we're going to be. I don't know exactly when it's going to be happening. It's probably going to be moved to the afternoon because there's going to be a little shift of programming here on a Radio St. George. And then, um, yeah, probably going to be in the afternoons. We might even extend a, an hour for phone calls. And we're going to have guests, other healers that uh, we can talk to, whether they're in the studio or on the phone. And uh, you can find out the other modalities that are available to you. And also on energyhealingbydesign.com, there's also a request for an appointment that if you want to put, um, if you want to inquire about the biofeedback, mm-hmm. Cindy does do that. So I you feel. can put... Um, biofeedback. Uh-huh. So if you put on the request, put Cindy um, and biofeedback and then information, and we can also um, email that to you along with... So it's the same form. But mm-hmm. in the subject, you'll you'll just put um, a session with Nicole or the biofeedback, and then that will come to our email, and we'll be able to give you information on that. Yeah, um, and and uh, I did want to mention too um, with the Array of Hope, if they would like to donate to the foundation, how do they do that? On the Array of Healing by Design there dot com, there yes. is a donate page. So it's energyhealingbydesign.com, and you can go to the donate page, and then that will go to the Array of Hope Foundation, which is really for not just children locally, the children of the world. 
Yeah, and on that page, it, uh, there's it says Array of Hope Foundation, and on the page it explains what we do. It has pictures of the past events, some events like I host for or I I volunteer for for women that ha- or that have children that are suffering from these um, illnesses. We do we are putting together retreats and things like that because to give the mothers a break. And in yeah. and we it, on that page also it, we encourage anybody that does has a gift or has a something that they want to share. Even like um the men are more than we're more than happy to do something like a men's retreat for the fathers. Again, we're we're women. Right. So, it's not just we're not saying one's better or or worse what we're saying is that we're women and we're this is what i'm doing and this is what we're going to do and if there's men that want to then just volunteer and we 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 can side by side do these these support groups for um for people that are suffering and families that are suffering because they 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 need it they are seeking these families especially like i work a lot with the jessups um are seeking a quality of life yeah and um, quality of life that probably a lot of us take for granted every right. day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And 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 our and if your child child is healthy, can you imagine mm-hmm. when it's not like that? You know, it it very very sad. I wanted to mention also, Nicole, that every other Wednesday you do something at your office, which is located at three fifty two East Riverside Drive, Suite A one in St George. It's right off of Riverside Drive. Um, and t- I know tonight's a Wednesday. Tonight's one of the Wednesdays <laughs> that you actually do it. It is a $10 donation. And can you explain what that is? So um, the we have an energy circle or an energy share so that you can experience the hands-on healing. And today tonight's going to be a little bit different. We're going to actually, I'm going to go and, and work with an individual we kind of just have a little bit of a program that we're what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. We're also going to start doing the children's piece. So there's going to be um, um, the one Wednesday a month, or sorry, two Wednesdays a month is an adults, the adults, and then the opposite two are for children. Oh, so there, awesome. there'll be a meeting, there'll be a gathering um, once a week, but they'll um, shift shift from yeah. adults. So what what do what what are the meetings for the gatherings for yeah. the adults and what are the gatherings for the children like what happens? So we for the adults we we um it's more of a like a social event where people that either have healing abilities well everybody does but yeah. or they want to share information. We come in um, most people know they my They want to feel accepted. I just feel like that's a place that you can feel accepted. I can tell you that when people, the people that keep returning say that they, they feel the love. Yeah. They feel a no home. No judgment. Yeah, yeah. They feel a home that they've never felt before. Mm-hmm. And this is quoted from, from quite a few people that, that, and they feel a connection and a community and, um, and are, and you're, you're accepted for who you are. Yeah. And then as we, big deal. we build these, as we found these, these, um, beautiful people then go home and then their house, their, their house begins to heal then they go to work and they give some energy away and then they come back um, every other week and it's really recharged their soul. Mm-hmm. And so I can't, every, every meeting's different. So to say, is there an itinerary or something? No, there's not. It's, okay. it's um, wide open. It's, um, you know, re- sharing. Yeah. Remain flexible. You share your information or you share your energy. I, we share a little bit of, um, we do a meditation. We do do that. Mm-hmm. And everybody it blows their doors off. I yeah. haven't had anybody leave yet that that hasn't had quite the experience. What time does it start? At 7 o'clock. Okay, so 7 o'clock. So tonight is the Wednesday for adults. Mm-hmm. And let me just tell you how to get there again. It is 352 East Riverside Drive in St. George. It's Suite A1. And uh, it's a ten dollar donation to get in the door for the gathering. And um, I know that there's a, a lot of love in that place because you just hold that love in there even when you're not there you walk in it's like oh the cold's been here because <laughs> you just have that kind of love but i mean it is a place of acceptance and then are you kind of going to do the same thing for the children's wednesdays so the children's that it's the same thing it, it, we we play with them though we um we we share the energy with them you can see their little tummies tickle like you, we Aww. just kind of we it's an experience for for them for kids to be able to um, share with each other and it's yeah. really fun our we have them put their hands together 
They can sense and feel the energy. We really talk to them about what it feels like and um, then they have a little treat. So, yeah, well, you have to have a treat. Wait a minute. Do they have treats at the adult one, too? <laughs> we do. Okay. Good. We have to have treats. You have to have the grain crackers. Don't you remember yeah. that in kindergarten with the grain crackers and stuff? Um, so that is tonight at 7 o'clock for the adults, 352 East Riverside Drive, Suite A1 in St. George. And if you forgot what I said and you're driving and you can't write it down, just go to energyhealingbydesign.com. That is Nicole's personal website. And she will have on, have that on there. You can also um, set up a healing with Nicole at energyhealingbydesign.com. Com. Remembering Connections with Cindy and Nicole, that is our Facebook page. And please, um, we're going to be posting this video afterwards. We did. We found out from Sean, who you probably saw walking around here, that the phones aren't working. We had no idea that the phones weren't working this morning. Uh, but that is why if you were trying to call in, we apologize. We had no idea that the phone wasn't working and neither did Sean. So uh, we apologize next Wednesday. I'm sure they will be up and running fine. And we'll be testing them beforehand just to make sure. So if you were calling, we apologize. Um, Radio St. George here, 100.3 FM in St. George. We uh, are awesome. We are, I think Sean is awesome for taking care of us and allowing us to, to be here every week. Um, and you can always go to Radio St. George on Facebook and, and check out our videos as well. Yes, and also I'll be in Salt Lake City doing oh. a live energy um, group. And Let's talk about that. When is that? We've got a couple of minutes left, so go ahead. Tell us about it. It's Bridging Science. This weekend, and, right? Yeah, okay. it's on Sunday, and I do not have the address, but it is um, going to be posted on the Facebook page. Okay. Um, so it's, it's Bridging Spirituality and the Science part of it. Mm -hmm. And um, we the feedback that Will Miller, William Miller and I have had on it is pretty amazing how we cooperate with the energy. So he'll bring in the the, the scientific so the brain things, stuff with yeah. it and how everything's proven scientifically. Yeah, so he'll bring in that part it. where we're spiritually we have we're amazing beings of light, right? Right. But we need science to tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like Albert Einstein had that down. I always yeah, I tell did, my son that I just feel like he knew it, you know, intellectually, but he also knew it on a spiritual level. I just always thought he just ha had it down. But that's really cool. So they have both of you. So you explain something that maybe you feel and he goes, let me explain that in a scientific term. Yes. Right. <laughs> I love that. What do you guys call it? It's the living energy group. His is live aware group. Uh -huh. And um, we've just kind of um, joined forces um, to make a difference. William Miller and I have ha have a relationship for about over 20 years. All right, so you know him and he knows you. Uh -huh. yeah. And he's watched my um, ups and downs and he yeah. watched the transformation. And so his science brain um, has also <laughs> transformed into understanding that there is a heart brain too. Yeah. And there is, and, and he's did his own involvement. That's so cool. And so we, we're his, bringing it together. I'm too. laughing because I think it's cute the way you said his science brain. Because we need those <laughs> science brains. Thank you, Will. And we need those, those science brains. Um, as we're wrapping things up again, I want to thank uh, Sean Denovan, who's a professor here at Dixie State University in St. George, for allowing us uh, to come and be on the year um, on uh, Radio St. George 100.3 FM. Thank you, Sean. And thank you. And we're going to uh, do our best uh, to have our phones working. <laughs> we had no idea when we got here. My microphone uh, decided to uh, just kind of not to break for a minute, too, before we were on the air. So it just must be kind of, it, again, we we're just talking about that at the beginning of the yeah, show, right? All the exactly. stuff is breaking. So our Facebook page, Remembering Connections with Cindy and Nicole. Check us out anytime. Uh, Radio St. George on Facebook. And then, of course, uh, get to uh, 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 Nicole's personal website at energyhealingbydesign.com. You're going to find out about the gathering tonight at 352 East Riverside Drive, uh, Suite A1 in St. George at 7 o'clock. There'll be more information and more information on what's going on with you this weekend. Right. So uh, get yes. to that energy healing by design .com. Thank you very much for remembering connections. And we'll have the phones up and running uh, next week. OK.